And spring comes at different times for different people, but here's one thing you may not know. Take a look at this plant. It's called a forsythia. It's gold, it's yellow, it just blasts color at the first time of spring. So when you start seeing this and little bulbs springing, this is the time to do the first assignment. It's, it's, we gotta worry about the weeds. Oh, weeds yeah. drive me crazy. Isn't you've it crazy? Got, you've got a great way to prevent them from yes. the get-go. Yeah, we okay. don't look forward to, to the weeds. We look forward to a beautiful garden. So here's the thing. I want to teach you guys how to use cornmeal gluten. It's an organic source of, of weeding, for weeding, and also for uh, feeding your soil. So the thing is, once you start seeing weeds like this emerging, yeah. it's too late to use the corn gluten. So let's get rid of this. Okay, I'll take that. And let's pretend that the weeds has, haven't come up. This is what you're gonna do. Take a look at the cornmeal gluten. You can find it at the garden center. You can even find it at, at feed shops. Okay. Because it's safe around dogs, cats, pets. Oh good, I was It's gonna very, ask. very safe. So what you do is say, here's your soil. Yep. Break up your soil a little bit. Okay. And so what he's doing is he's bringing all those weed seeds that are latent in the ground. He's bringing them up to the top because we're going to attack them right now. How's that? That looks good. Okay. And then you're going to just do it a little soft grade. And then what you guys do in your garden, you want to do it about this dense. You want to get it nice and full. Just on top like that? On the top. Okay. You can scratch it in a little bit. About 10 pounds is going to cover about 500 square feet. So right now, this is just a little sample, and then you can brush it in a little bit and then water it. Okay. Just a little scratch. And okay. so here's the thing, guys. Do not add corn gluten if it's going to be raining in the next week or two. You want it to be able to be in your soil oh. to attack the seeds. And the way it works, you wonder, well, what is this going to do? What happens is the seeds that are in here, yep. they will sprout, but this will inhibit it from growing roots. If you don't have roots, you're not going to live, right? That's it. So that's how this is a pre-emergent, how it kills it. It's fantastic. That's a great tip. And it also adds nitrogen to the soil.